Hello, it's when it's Monday, eight o'clock, May the fourth be with you. This is Zoom Down. And on tonight's show, we have our reigning champion from Surrey, Paul Nixon. And challenging him, favorite player of mine, Philip Aston, all the way from Devon. And in Dictionary Corner, awaiting the winner is all the way from Leitrim in beautiful Ireland is Hazel Drury. And pulling the strings from behind, we have two. We have James Rowan doing the YouTube and we have Fiona Tickham doing all the beautiful overlays for you. So, hey, Fiona, hey. how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, I apologise for the problems last week. I didn't uh, didn't realise I couldn't be heard at all. Um, hopefully you've got that sorted now. So. Yeah, there was just, it was just us going, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you, a very you, good. You point. missed all my what amazingly, was, what, what, amazingly what witty, point? erudite comments. So we change. missed it. Yeah, well, we laughed. You see, they could see us laughing at your comments. And they, were good. <laughs> they just couldn't tell what they were. But we have a clever bunch. They can kind of read between the lines. They don't need every <laughs> every line. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Now we had two. We had two great games last time, Paul. Yeah, I scraped through the first one on a on a crucial. I thought I'd lost it when uh, when Fred buzzed, but. Uh... Yeah, so did I. That was a that was a tight one, but it's uh Yeah, what was the conundrum again? Uh shredding, shredding. Shredding. And, uh, yeah. He he buzzed too early and uh, he did, he did. Managed to squeeze he did, he through. Say what he was seeing or what he was thinking. That's right, yeah. But um yeah, no, it was good. Very 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 close games and hopefully we get the same tonight. and Philip, yeah. welcome to Zoom down. Hey. That it. Man, a few words, Philip. Is it you have your you have your mum and dad in the crowd tonight? So hi, Mr. And Mrs. Aston. Yeah, yeah, they're not too bad. Thanks. Hope your boy represents you well tonight. So thanks. No pressure, no pressure Phil. And best of luck. Thank and thank Hazel, you. how are you? We'll be coming hi. to you. We'll be coming to you for all the maxes and and your dictionary corner anecdotes and all that. So hope you're looking oh, forward yeah. to it. <laughs> Good. Right. Okay. So will we get into it? Everyone ready? So zoom mm -hmm. down. We'll take it away. So. Mr. Nixon, it's going to be your choice. Your letters, please. Okay. Uh, good luck, Phil. Um, let's start with three vowels in. All right, your three vowels are. U. B. And A. And three consonants. Maybe you turn off your apto noise, Hazel, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, that's T, N, and Q. Um, we'll have two more consonants. Okay. They are S and C. And um, a vowel, please. Okay, and a final. I, and that's zoomed in. How'd you get on there, Paul? Uh, eight. Eight. And Philip? Eight. Eight as well. So, Paul, you're eight. Antiques. Antiques. Okay, good. And Philip? Yeah. Same word here. Same you probably word. can't see in the lighting. Very nice. Well, I had I had one of the one of the eight quantize, Hazel. Was there any more? Yeah, there were four eights. Quantize, antiques, quinates, and quantics. Quantics. Oh, quantics would be the, the study of quantities or something like that. Quantics would be nice. Good start right, from good. our audience as well. Pretty much everyone got eight there as well. Everyone got them. Oh, that's good. Well, nice start, lads. Good solid start. Nice for me not to be writing a zero next to your name at the first round. That's what you want. <laughs> oh. We're good. And we're into Philip. Your letters, please. Okay, Hazel. Sorry, we're going to have to do this. Uh... Okay, I'll, I'll do it. So, Philip, it should have been you choosing all the rounds. Whereas this, it's asking oh, me to right. choose this one. So, will we start a new game? Or... Yeah, if you don't mind, please just make yeah. it fourteen. Make it fourteen rounds. We'll just we'll. We oh can, yeah. We can fill in for a little bit. So, yeah, just it's just a just explain to the viewers at home. It's just so that I don't have to be going pushing buttons, so that we can just read them out nice and 
nice and handy. Okay. Ah. Baby monitor off. You can hear that's bedtime starting upstairs. <laughs> For anyone that has young kids, they'll know all about bedtimes. I'm wearing my pink shirt tonight that I wasn't allowed to wear on the show. So that's the reason I'm wearing this. They said they said it was too stroby. Doesn't look too stroby to me, does it? Looks fine. Yeah. It depends it depends on the black it depends on the background. Like um when my dad was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire fifteen years ago, his shirt wasn't right, so he had to wear a blue shirt. Yeah. I get that, but I yeah, it's just doesn't seem to make any sense because that you know when they bring it out and they go they sort of they bring your shirt and they, they 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 take it over to all the cameras and they hold it in front of it and they go hmm yeah i think it depends on the background as well like how has a blue background and a brown chair i think it depends on the background depends on the lighting as well yeah well they were saying it was a strobe effect but i was i was looking at it and there was one of my shirts i could go yeah yeah there's a definite strobe effect this one not so much i just don't think they liked it oh well <laughs> right we are into round two and that is going to be your letters, please, Philip. Okay, three vowels, please, Paul. All oh, right, your three vowels are U, E, and another U. And a three consonants, please. And they are L, J, and V. Yuck. Um, another vowel, please. A consonant. Sorry, I, I, I didn't get that. Sorry. Sorry, it's a T. Okay. And a vowel, please. Okay, and a final. I, and that's zoomed in. How'd you get on, Philip? Six, I think. Six, and Paul? Uh, just a five. Okay, and you're five. Uh, value. Value, okay, safe enough, Philip, and you're six? Hopefully. Uvali, U V U L A E. Yeah, that's valid, yeah. That's valid. Yeah. Okay, uh, Hazel, you were breaking up there. Yeah, you're breaking up a little oh, bit sorry. there, Hazel. You don't mind just um, repeating that last bit. Uh, that's one of the two valid sixes. Mm -hmm. And what was the other? Uh, the, other one, the other one is Alvite. Alvite. A-L-V-I-T-E. -E. Well, well done if you got any of those at home. Well done, Philip. That was a good six. Thank you. Excellent. So it's a new one on me, that one. Yeah, it's a plural of Uvili. I think it's something in your mouth. Okay. Mm. Right. Very good. And an early lead. Six. Okay. Right, so we are into round three, and that's going to be Paul's numbers. Uh, let's go six small. Six small then. All right, please, Hazel. Six small R. Three. Ten. Four, five, eight, and one. And your target, three, zero, zero. Out.
Oh, well, that was a little bit easy there, Paul. That didn't really separate the men from the boys, did it? Yeah, 300. 300 and Philip? 300. Okay, Paul, take it away. Um, 10 times 8. 10 times 8 is 80. 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Add them together, times 3. Cool. And Philip? My way was 3 multiplied by 10 is 30. Mm -hmm. And then 5 add 4 add 1 is 10. And, and then 30 times 10 is 300. Perfect. Easy peasy. Nice little gentle start for you lads. That's good. 10 points each. Not much of a challenge that. Okay, so 10 points each, that's... 18 to 24. Right. And we are into Philip's letters. Um, three vowels, please. Okay, your three vowels are E, A, um, sorry, O. Um, three consonants, please. And they are G. S and Q. Another consonant, please. T. And um, another consonant, please. An F. And another consonant, please. And the final. L. And that's zoomed down. Seven, Paul. Seven. Seven. You are Philip. You're seven, Philip. Gelatos. Gelatos. Okay, and Paul? Yeah, I've got the same. Gelatos. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always yeah. thought that would be gelati. Mm -hmm. But, oh well. Hey, By the way, the Q has appeared for the second time in three letters rounds. How has that happened? <laughs> I don't know. I had two Qs and a mock two the other day in the same in the same letter round. So. Yeah, that's happened to me as well. So in, a, in a human v human game or a human v bot game, you won't get two cues. It'll be the no. normal distribution. That's mm. it. Well, that's hopefully yes. So Hazel, what else could they have had? Uh, there was also folates and legatos, and yeah. I think the reason there's two cues is because the previous cue was in the other game that we did. Yeah. Okay. So goal fest is not valid then, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. Because we don't score enough goals. <laughs> Could have had an eight. Oh well. Right, so a good seven points each, lads. Twenty-five to thirty-one. Six points remains. And we're into Paul's letters, please. Okay, three vowels, please. Okay, we're three vowel starters tonight. E. A. And another A. And three consonants. N and S. Uh, another consonant. Another S. A uh, vowel, please. With an I. And a consonant. And the final P, and that's zoomed down.
Okay, Paul, how'd you go down? Seven. Seven. Hello. Seven. Seven. Okay, Paul, you're a seven. Pansies. Pansies and Philip. Had that as well. Pansies. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. Nice big rising. You're yeah. you're a you're a bit of an outlier there. Any anyone usually holds up their their rising. It's especially those who go to co events. It's extremely tiny where they're because <laughs> people are sitting beside them and they're they're writing in min, minuscule code. Okay. So those looked safe sevens. Was there anything else, Hazel? Um. No. Seven was the max, but there was also paisans. P a i s a n s, and then an anagram of pansies, paisans. P i s a n e s. Paisans are country folk, are they? Is that they like the paisan, like the in French? No, would imagine. Um, I'll, I'll check the definition. Right, so that was a seven points each, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just a country man or a friend. Yeah. Thirty-two to thirty-eight. That's right. Yes, Fiona. All good. Thirty-two, thirty-eight. That's what I make it. So, yep. Excellent. So, and this time it's going to be Philip's numbers. Two large, please. Okay. And your numbers are four, one, five, another five. 25 and 75 and your target 367 and that's zoomed in Three six seven. Three six seven. Then Paul. Yeah, three six seven. All right. So Philip, take it away. Five seventy five to three hundred and seventy five. Yeah. Take away the five is three seventy. Okay. Take away four is three six six. Mm -hmm. Add one. Okay. Three six seven. Paul. Yeah, basically the same in a slightly different order. Um, can you see it? <laughs> 575. Yes, we do. Yes, yes. Just got a quick yeah. view of it. But yeah, that's good. All right. Okay. Oops. 10 points. 42 to 48. As we go into our little break and we talk to our guest tonight, Hazel Drury. How are you getting on in lockdown, Hazel? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a bit strange, though. Um, because I live in the least populated county in Ireland, so mm. everywhere is so quiet. <laughs> yeah. And then I moved into my grandma's house as well because she's not very well at the minute. Oh, sorry. So I'm living that. in a different house as well. Wow. So it's uh but you get on well with your granny. Oh yeah, yeah, and she um turned ninety six last month. Congratulations. Elliot Elliot's a Elliot's a big fan of the, the very, very old people. So yeah, he likes he'll be he likes the, the ones that are turning 100. So she's only got four years to go now to get, <laughs> to get What was Elliot saying? You get from the Irish government, you get two and a half grand, I think. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> On turning 100, you get two and a half grand, I think. Yeah. And then and a commemorative medal for every year after that that you make, which is, I thought was quite nice. So Elliot's plan to move to, move to Ireland when he's 99 and live to 100. <laughs> That's a good plan. So uh, yeah, you've been. Uh, how have you been keeping yourself occupied? Um, mainly actress and Duolingo, that kind of stuff, really. Mm -hmm. So I've been practicing my Irish grammar on Duolingo. Fascinating. I'd love to test you, but I don't know. I don't know any. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, we didn't do it. I went to Esco in the north. We didn't do. We didn't do Irish. We did wrote Irish. We just sort of was just repeat after me kind of thing, you know. Uh, so yeah. We learned it. We learned it. We learned our prayers and things like that phonetically, but. They didn't encumber us with the spelling. The spelling and the grammar can be pretty yeah. tough, you know. So 
I had to learn Irish because I moved over when I was eight because I'm originally from Preston in Lancashire um, and it's compulsory at that age to learn mm. Irish. And then I was diagnosed with dyslexia at 15 and I could have had an exemption then, um, but I'd learned it for seven years. So I thought it was a bit pointless to get the exemption. And do you so enjoy it? Of... You love your language. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And it's, it's not too bad with the dyslexia because the words are so like strangely spell anyway that it's hard to get the order of the words and spellings wrong yeah yeah i know what you mean yeah yeah, yeah. it is it's such a it's such an outlier of a language isn't it there's yeah <laughs> you don't really know where it comes from it's similar to basque and things like that there's it's a very very ancient language yeah not necessarily related to indo-european or something like that that's what i've heard that which is the stem of most modern languages yeah i think it's a celtic language it's linked yeah. to um Welsh and Manx, I think, and okay. Scots Gaelic as well. Yeah, and the Basques as well. It's quite similar to the yeah. Basque, Basque language, apparently. So, but it's uh, yeah. I remember, I remember meeting you at Co Job last year, and I uh, yeah, obviously twigged on your your English accent, you know. And it, you said you'd studied, you'd done a degree in Irish. I was like, whoa, that's. <laughs> I'd never met an English person who was with such a such a knowledge of of the Irish language before. So, because it's hard enough Thank for Irish you. people, you know. So. So fair play to you, and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's good. It's keeping the language alive. A lot of people would yeah. think it's a dead language, but it's 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 coming back this past few, this past decade. We've noticed it kind of come quite a middle class thing in Ireland now for the for the sort of the middle class to send their little sunny bunnies and little darlings down to the Gwaeltacht in the summer and all that. So you know, whether whereas that kind of stopped for a good for a good decade, it's become fashionable to do it again. I think now. So. I never actually went to the Grail Tuck till I went mm. to uni. I was too scared to go to the Grail Tuck. Mm. For the benefit of others, this is basically like a, like a summer camp where you're only allowed to speak Irish. Every every interaction has to be in Irish. So you can imagine it's uh, what the teenagers get up to and all that. There might be a bit of underage drinking and partying and stuff like that going on as well. So, But it's a, it's a formative experience for a lot of Irish people. But thanks very much, Hazel. That was very interesting. And we hope to see you in the next game now. Hope you're nice and relaxed. Yeah? Are you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, I'm you've very got, nervous. You've, well, you've got nine rounds now to chill out now and watch the boys suffer. So we're going to go into, we're going to go into, this will be round seven. And it's going to be Paul's letters, please. Okay, uh, three vowels then, please. Three vowels are. You. Oh. And three consonants. R, T, and X. Uh, two more consonants. A D, and another D. Um, and a consonant. Okay, and a final P, and that's zoomed in. Get on that round. Uh, six. Six. And Philip? Seven, I hope. Okay, so you're six, Paul. Uh, export. Export, yeah, okay. And Philip, you're seven. Prouded? Yeah, that was the only seven. Was that the only seven? So well done. I wasn't I wouldn't have risked that myself, I think. I'm not sure what I would have risked them. I think I've seen it quite a few times before as a verb. I'm not sure what it means in a verbal sense. Prouded. Yeah. <laughs> Stood up. Crowded? I don't know. Or is it an adjective? As in crowded. Oh, okay. What sure. on to what on to Bradley, who's the only one in the chat who got that as well. Did he? Right. So yeah, you're in good company there, Philip. I was I got I was seeing protrude, which wasn't there. It was an extra R I was looking for, but that's Yeah, it's quite a deceptive selection that oh, actually. Very, yeah, exactly. So well done, Philip. That was a good Thank one. you.
just to clarify as well, is um, is Philip currently on a max still? The question's been praised by Bradley. Yeah. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, he is. Does Bradley even need to ask that question? Does he? Bradley knew before he asked that question, didn't he? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure the viewers will now. I'm sure the viewers will now, like yeah. Add pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't want no. him to him in the finals. Like that extra little bit of pressure, Philip. <laughs> Your selection. Okay, uh, three vowels, please. Three vowels. And they are O, A, and I. And three consonants, please. Counts as a consonant, a Y, a G, and a D. And another consonant, please. K. Oh, okay, okay. And a vowel. Another A. And let's go for a consonant, please. Okay, and a final. S, and that's zoomed down. Seven. Seven, Paul. Seven. Seven, okay. Philip, you're seven. Adagios. Adagios. And Paul? Adagios. Okay, perfect, yeah. What else could they have had? Um, there was one of the seven, Sokaya. Sokaya. S-O-K-A-I-Y-A, -A, um, which is a holder of shares in a Japanese company who tries to extort money from it by threatening to cause trouble for executives at a general meeting of the shareholders. Quite specific, then. Yeah. <laughs> Just in those circumstances only, that's what you can be called. All right. Okay. Sokaia. Sokaia. Right, so that was two sevens there, wasn't it? 49 to 62, 13 in it. Not decisive yet, Paul, but significant, shall we say. Yeah, I think I'd better go... Uh, is it numbers? It's your numbers, yes. Yeah, let's go six more again. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we have... Four. Six. Five. Eight. Another eight. And a one, and your target, 599, and that's zoomed in. Get on. Yeah, five nine nine. Five nine nine, Philip. I've blown it. Sorry. Okay, Paul, your chance then. Take it away. Okay, um, uh, eight plus eight plus four. Eight plus eight plus four is twenty. Times five. Times five. It's a hundred. Times six. Uh -huh. Very clever. Six hundred. Take away one. You have the one. That's it. Yeah, I was trying another way and I got—I just couldn't get it. Couldn't get to the yeah, I got it after a time, but I don't want to fudge, so I have oh, to be honest well. about it. Well, thanks for that, Philip. That's good. Nice, good etiquette. Right, so did anybody else how to get that in the chat? Was that? Yep, a fair number of people got it. Yep, Spike, Ray, Steve, Bradley, to name a few. That one was convenient. If you could find the, the other way to, to get the 600, yeah. yeah. Right, so the scores have narrowed 
69 to 62. It's a three point game, lads. Ooh. We're into part three, so it's going to be Philip's letters. Okay, three vowels, please. Okay, and your vowels are A. Another A. And a U. And three consonants. N. L. And C. And another consonant, please. And R. Um, and a vowel. Um, and a consonant, please. Okay, and a final M, and that's zoomed down. I've got seven. Seven, okay. And Paul? A seven as well. Seven. You're Philip. Are you a seven, Philip? Nuclear. 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 Yes. Um, Un unclear. Unclear. So two anagrams of each other. That was yours, Philip, wasn't it? Nuclear. Yes. Yep, yeah, nuclear. Or as, as Homer Simpson pronounced it, nuclear. Nuclear. <laughs> nuclear. Yeah. Okay, so Hazel, what else could they have? There was a little bit more in there, wasn't there? Yeah, there were two eights. Cannuli. So, yeah, cannuli and cannula. Cannula. So they're 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 pretty similar. What do they re refer to? Um, I'll just check. I spelt those with just one n, so I would have been wrong. Cannula. Um, all for the form of the nature of the tubular hollow cannula. Cannulated. Must be part. Is it? It's anatomy, is it? I think so, but you can spell it with one or two ends for cannula. All right, so you can have it like that, okay? I think Pretty a good. cannula is what they stick in your arm when you're in hospital as well, isn't it? Ah, okay. It's those little plastic tubes then. Mm. Really. Right. Okay. Oh, nice. That's good to know. So we had a seven each there. Six to sixty-nine. Andy would say Philip in a good position. <laughs> Sorry, I know your parents are watching, but anyway. Okay, now we are into Paul, your letters, please. Okay, three vowels, please. Three vowels. Okay, and they are I, E, and O. And three consonants. M, W, N. Uh, two more consonants. Okay. S and B. And uh, consonant. And a final L, and that's zoomed down. So, Paul, you're seven. Mobiles. Mobiles, okay. And Philip, you're eight. Bow lines. Very nice. Very nice. The only eight, Hazel. Yeah, the only eight. Very good, Philip. Nice. Yeah, but the, the, sing the singular came up on the show recently. I wasn't watching. That's right. It was a few days ago. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Still didn't spot it. Not a word I spot. So. Yeah, a pretty difficult one. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, back to eleven in it. Okay. That's a useful score. 
And we are into your letters. Okay, uh, three vowels, please. I R E A and I and three consonants. M H and R and a vowel, please. O and a consonant. Another H. Oh, nasty. And I'll finish with a consonant, please. Okay, and a final N, and that's zoom down. Okay, sorry. A little bit late back from there. Sorry about that. How'd you get on? Eight. Eight, Paul? Eight as well. Okay, so. Fill up your eight. Homerine. H-O-M-A-R-I-N-E. And Paul? Yeah, same word. Same word. I was going to say homerine. But... Homer I would say homerine, yeah. So what does it mean, Hazel? Homerine. Um... Oh, it's not Homer. It's belonging to the genus Homerus of large clawed lobsters. Okay, so it's relating to a lobster, a type of lobster. All right, good, good eight, good to know. Good, I didn't think there'd be an eight in there with the two H's. Mm. Yes, I, well done, dear to yeah, those two guys and most of the chat who all beat me, I only had seven. 74 to 85. And we're into the last letters game, Paul. Uh, okay, three vowels then. And they are E, O, and I. And three consonants. T, S, and R. Uh, consonant. C and another consonant and N um consonant okay and a final M and that's zoomed down the last letters game i'll go for a nine you'll go for a nine philip nine okay so paul intercoms intercoms okay philip yeah intercoms. I'm very good yes 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 i see that so i was uh i, I was cursing you paul for not picking a final vowel because i was i was like vowel vowel, vowel well vowel. this creations and all of those it's a bit too obvious wasn't it yeah uh there was a few there was a few in there uh, Neoteryx is the one I was thinking of, I think. So I was wanting to finally... Yeah, but let us follow. Erections. <laughs> erections, exactly. It's, it's the polite version of erections, yes. So, that was a good nine, lads. So there was obviously nothing else. That was the a Derenic nine. Yeah. That's massaged the scores a little bit as well. So, 92 to 103. Okay. And Philip, how do you play your numbers game here now? So you have an eleven point lead. I can't stand the answer. Um, um, one large and five small, please. One large. So five large and one small, is it? One large and five small. Okay. One large and five small. Eight. 
nine, one, four, nine, and a hundred. And your target? Seven hundred and twenty seven. And that's zoomed in. Well, Philip, how'd you get on? 727. 727, Paul? Yeah, 727. 727. Philip, do you want to take it away? Okay, start with 100 out of 4 is 104. Yeah. 8 take away 1 is 7. Mm -hmm. Multiply by 104, that's 728. That's 728. And then to make the 9, 9 divided by 9 is the other one. Take it away. Take that away. Yeah. And Paul? Uh, 8 minus 1 is 7 times 100. 100, 700. And 4 nines, 36. Yeah. Add that on and take away the other 9. 7 to 7. Yeah, I could hear you muttering under your breath when it, when you spotted it. You were like, "Yeah, it's an easy." Too easy. <laughs> the other, it was an easier way of just taking off seventy three from the from the hundred as well. Uh, take, take off the nine, multiply by eight, and then you take off from one. So there was quite a few ways. So Philip, you're over the line. Well played. Very yeah. well played indeed. Well done. Hard luck, Paul. Luck had to run out eventually. It did. It did. Yeah, you were just beaten by those um, silly words I came up with. Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't that what everyone says? Yeah, if it hadn't been for those silly words I beat you with. <laughs> right, so. 102. Double century game, guys. Very well played. 102 to 113. And we're going to give you a conundrum now. So, James, you want to talk them through? I'm just going to write this up on the board. I'm going to switch off my yeah. camera. Absolutely. Okay, so. Um, yeah. Paul, no, you can't see me? Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Paul will be uh, writing up, um, yeah, the conundrum on the board, and so his camera's off, and then you'll be told, okay, the conundrum is being revealed, like now, and then to buzz, you basically say the word, buzz. Do not say the answer. Say, buzz or zoom down or whatever you want. Basically, no, is not. Buzz, isn't it? Just buzz, yeah, buzz, buzz. Just buzz. Okay, so it used to buzz, be just zoom yeah. down. I couldn't remember when we changed it. Yeah, just say buzz because it's more recognisable. And then when Paul prompts you, you then give the answer. Okay. Cool. Understood. Everyone good? So best of luck, lads. You might hear the music a little bit early because I, I kind of have to start the music. It's it's a, it's a screen thing here. I have to sort of start the music and then start my camera. So hear the music and then get ready to hear the you know, get ready to see the conundrum. <laughs> um, it's yellowish. It's yellowish. It is. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks. I, I, actually, actually, I couldn't actually see the conundrum. I had to click on your window in order to see it. Oh, you weren't. You didn't have me pinned then. No, I wasn't pinned because you weren't speaking when you started. Someone spoke. Ah, and no, then see, that's that's what pinning means. Pinning means it'll stay there even if someone's not speaking. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, okay. Well, that's good. Glad, well, at least you got it anyway. We, yeah, I've right. just I've just found the pin video button as well. I've yeah, just found okay. the pin video button. Well, congratulations and well played. You weren't uh, thrown by our. By, 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 by the way, I'm, I am loving the scramble. That's the best scramble I've ever seen. Fiona, <laughs> well, you can thank Fiona Tickham for that. That was that was her her her. She was like, we need a good one for Philip. 
And this was, she's like, why don't we throw him off? And we, she was like, who's that guy he's always banging on about? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you a clue. He's very rich and he drives cars around in circles <laughs> about um, uh, 2,000 times a year. Although he's not doing it right now. He's uh, yeah, Very good game, guys. Very yeah. good game. Thank you. Yes. Well, well done, Philip. Thank you yeah, very much. Was, was it 13 well, maxes? Both of you. Yeah. Yeah, was it 13 maxes I got in the end? I think I got 13 maxes. Th we'll have to... I can't tell from the afterest because we started two games, you see. We had we had a, an initial off, round, but I think... Off so, the top yeah. of my head... I mean, how many? How like, unless I can be corrected, I can only recall you missing one. So well, it's thirteen. I missed the numbers. Can you lie? You missed Can you lie? Okay, yeah, I missed those as well. Yeah. I yeah. think I got thirteen maxes. Thirteen yeah. maxes, yeah. No, very good game. Very nicely done. What was the other? Oh, it was the numbers you missed, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. And yeah, Paul, thirty, twenty, six hundred. I picked the wrong factors. That's why I didn't get it. Well, we'll come to you in a minute, Philip. I want to chat to Paul. Paul, you've been brilliant. You've been a brilliant champion and. You've uh, you've thrown it up to some very good players and knocked out a couple of them. So I mean, I'm I'm thinking your score. What have you got after your three games now? I don't know. Actually. Um, what what were you sitting on? Anybody got the wiki open there? What was what was Paul Nixon on after two games? It was probably averaging about 100. So it's probably about 300. But I've definitely uh, met my match today. And Philip, he's a bit of a a cut above, I think. So. Thanks. I don't know if he is Paul or not. I think we we we, we matched them. We we did, we were maybe yeah, Philip's slight favourite, but I, you, like your form has been so good recently. We needed to put a good player against you. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, yeah. See how against, far I'm you've up, come, you know. Yeah, I'm up against I'm up against a goat down machine next. Uh, Hazel does lots of goat down. Exactly. You can relax now, Mr. Nixon, and take it easy and watch oh, these well. two, watch these two suffer. But thanks, well, thanks, thanks for organising, Paul. It's been great fun to great Thank fun to be on. Oh well, that's good. Glad to hear, Paul. And I, I would, I would imagine we'll see you later on in the tournament, Paul, with your well, score. I suppose it depends how long you go on for, doesn't it? It so. does. We 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 <laughs> we have a sort of cut off in in mind, really. But um, I think you're you with two wins and a lot of points. You're 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 number two seed, I think, at the moment. He is currently sitting at number two yeah. seed and three hundred and seven points total. Three hundred and seven points. So very good. Averaging over a hundred. That's pretty good. Oh, so, I'd love to come back if. Uh... If I get the chance, so. well, you will, you will indeed. Hopefully, <laughs> cheers, hopefully. bro. Hopefully, that's the case. So you're gonna you're gonna set up an after game against me now, if you don't mind. Yeah. And let's just get that conundrum out of the way, Hazel. Sorry. Oh, I've just Starting logged out. Time. I logged out. Oh, did you? Right. Yeah. It's just you know the thing is every time I log into no, logs into Apto, I have one practice oh. round remaining to play against them. So. And how did they enjoy that, James or Fiona? How how did they enjoy that in the chat? Yeah, chat's been really active so far this game in this game. Yeah, mm -hmm. big crowd. Yep, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty big crowd. I can see quite a lot of names. Um, yep, yeah, Stephen and others coming up with amusing alternative scrambles or words as per normal. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah, got those we've got... grand style scrambles. Yeah, they're pretty funny from Stephen Reid. Yeah, we've got thirty-two live viewers, Paul. Lovely. That's good. Lovely. Yeah. So Paul, you're in. You, oh, you just entered the room. Yeah. So keep, you know how to do it. So when you click on my name, take a note of which player you'll be. Then do custom challenge, uh, practice game. Custom challenge. You should already have seen which player you were. Yeah, player one. Um, so just populate with all with all C ones then. Oh yeah. Um, Right, so Philip, as is the custom on this show, you just get one name now. You're the champion, so it's just Philip. <laughs> just to save ink, really. That's that's all. So, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, no, I've just... got spare pens in case one runs out. <laughs> right, Paul. We think that's good to go then. Yeah. If I click there, it should be ready. You ready to pick then? Yeah, we're good to go. Okay. Right, so Philip. <laughs> Episode 16, or game 16, episode 8, game 16. And we are ready to go, so best of luck to the pair of you. 
Fill up as reigning champion, your prerogative, so it's your letters. Okay, three vowels, please. Okay, three vowels are E. O and I. And three consonants, please. And they are C. Oh. Okay, just let it go. C, J, and T. And a consonant, please. Uh. A W. And another consonant, please. I think we've messed this one up, Paul, this have we? It's going out of control. It just. Um... Yeah, it's not a practice game then. You might uh, have to start again and so sorry. Sorry, I'm a bit new to this. Uh, um, we're just gonna have to They were uh, nasty anyway, so you're probably better off. <laughs> sorry, my apologies. Uh let me try again. It happens. It happens all the time. You're watching Zoom down on YouTube. Oh, practice game, I see. Yeah, must be practice gotcha. game. So it gives you unlimited, oh. unlimited, well, nearly unlimited picking time. Uh. <laughs> Should be you picking all the rounds this time. Okay, now okay. Philip. Right. Right. Again, three vowels. Are... Okay, three vowels, please. R A O and I. And three consonants, please. And they are C S and H. And another consonant, please. A T. And a vowel, please. An I. And another vowel, please. Okay, and a final. A, and that's zoomed in. that round go for you um hopefully a seven okay a seven and hazel just a six just a six and your six is a uh, coates yeah that's c-o-a-t-i-s yeah right yeah coates okay yeah and philip i'll take a stab at ty hoas t-a-i-h-o-a-s paul nixon what do we say only seven very good seven very good ty hoas do we know what that means, anybody? I think it's a unit of currency, isn't it? It's a what? It's a unit of currency. I hoa. Oh. I think so. I'm not sure. I hoa. Oh, it's, it might be something out of New Zealand. I think it's a Maori word. You don't Maybe. care, Philip. You got the seven points. You really don't care. This yeah. <laughs> well done. Excellent. I was hoping for an E. Was it achiotes? Is that the word I was thinking of? Achiotes. A C H I O T S. Yeah. That'd be the one. Yeah. 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 So the definition of Thai hoa in the. Uh... In the dictionary is a request or instruction to delay or be patient. And it's an informal New Zealand term. Aihoa. 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 <laughs> hold your horses, really. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's Maori for hold your horses. Well, very good, Philip. And an early steal. And that's a seven. Sorry, Hazel. I'm sure that won't I'm sure that won't last long, but anyway, I'm sorry to have to put that up there. Now it is going to be your letters, please. Um, please, can I have three consonants? Okay, and they are T, D, and R. Uh, three vowels. And they are E, another E, and an I. Another consonant. Consonant. 
consonant. Is yeah. That being slow, is it? Don't push. Don't push any more buttons. Just let it. Let it. Let it do it. If it's. Yeah. Well, we've been fairly lucky with afters of late, haven't we? Mm. I can tell you what it is, bro. Or you just don't see it. Ah, we did, we're gonna have to just in case it's. Unless it's me. It's not coming through. It's fine on my screen. Is it? Okay, there's an S. That's it. Okay. Uh, another consonant. Okay. A G. And a final vowel, please. Okay, and a final. A. And that's zoomed in. Just eight, I'm afraid. Okay, and you're eight? Um, readiest. Readiest, okay. Yeah, and this nine, Hazel? It tragedize. Tragedy. Mm. Sure is. Tragedize, yeah, and tragedy. Very well played, well indeed. Lovely. Excellent. Zoom down nine. We like to hear, we like to see them. Mm -hmm. So, I, my, my mind was a false, a false thing, actually. I was wondering, could you be, could you, registered? Mm, uh, no, it's just tragedies and tragedies. Tragedies and tragedies. So, oh, very nice. I knew that big zero wouldn't last long. Mm -hmm. okay. So, stunning turnaround there. Nate, Nick hates those big 18 points, really. So, But I like them. I think they're good. They're dynamic. They make the... They can change lead and stuff. That's what I like about them. So, we are into numbers, and it's yours, Philip. What are you going to have? Um, I'll go for four large and two small, please. Okay, big four large. Okay, so your two small are seven and four, and then you have 25, 50, 75, and 100, and your target, 122, and that's zoomed in. Two, two. How'd you get on? One, two, two, yeah. One, two, two. One, two Hazel? Two. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. So, Philip, take it away. 100 plus 25. Mm -hmm. And then take away seven and add four. Okay, and plus that is 122. Hazel, sounds like. Yes, same way. You're showing it up. Okay. Anybody see that? A bit closer if you could. Yeah, if you could just speak so we can see your camera. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's, uh, good. Yeah. Right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's in purple pen, so it might not pick up well. No, that's okay. It's just as long as if you oh, speak, yeah. the, the camera will go to you. The camera will go to you. Oh, okay. okay. So there was a lot of ways to do that, wasn't there? I had to just four sevens or 28, take it from 150. There was many, many, many ways. Mm -hmm. Not difficult for a four large, that one. We have one person asking, is there any way to do it with all six numbers that's immediately apparent? I can't see one off the top okay. of my head. Can you get 150 and then take away the 28? No. Yeah, but you've got two numbers. Yeah, you can. Here. 175 minus this 25 is 150. And take away that. You've still got 50 there. Yeah, you still. Yeah, it's for five oh. numbers. 100, 100 plus 75. This is. Oh, yes. Sorry, I see it now. Yeah, yeah. Take it off. You have 150 right. and then take it off. So 11 points for Paul. Thank you very much. <laughs> Who was it, who was asking that in the chat? Uh, Dave Rob Johns. 
Dave Rob Jones. There you go. Hope you're satisfied, Dave. <laughs> Uh, Dave's a math student, so he'd be interested in those sort of things. Right, okay. So, student at Bath. I want to see Dave hopefully later on in the series. 17 to 28. Okay. And it is Hazel's letters, please. Uh, please, can I have three consonants? You may. They are L, F, and N. Three vowels. E, U, and O. Another consonant. An R. Another vowel. An A. And a final vowel, please. And a final. E, and that's zoomed down. And Philip? Eight. Eight. Okay, so Hazel, you're eight. Uh, funereal. F U N E R E A L. Funereal, yeah. Nice word. And Philip? Hope it's in. A L E U R O N E. A L E U R O N. Okay, you're on. You go in. Heard it. I've heard it given. Heard it, I've seen it given that one, but I, I don't know what it means. So it's not the same as aileron, I imagine, is it? No. Anybody know what it means? Got it? We got a definition for that. I would have had a guess of it being something to do with like neurology or cranial stuff. Yeah, but that uh, was just with the ending. Yeah. Mm. It's a protein stored as granules in the cells of plant seeds. So no. That's <laughs> now. Excellent. Um, what else? There was just one more eight there, Paul. And yeah, one more eight, which is fluorine. Fluorine. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, just quickly. Um, sorry to butt in again. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I appear to be in the middle of a power cut. Apparently, I've just received a message. Um, I've got a predicted amount of forty-five to fifty minutes left of battery life, which should be oh, okay. Right. Oh, that's all right. But just yeah, just to let Turn you know, your brightness down a little bit. That's what you want to be doing. <laughs> but yeah, just it's like at a festival when you go when there's no charging points in your phone and you have it down to like one percent brightness, just to, just so it lasts all day and it never does. Yeah, I'll tweak a few things, but I, yeah, we should be okay. So, but I'd like yeah, just keep an eye on well, my battery. Okay, so, and we're into uh, James. You could always set someone else to be the meeting host if it looks like you're going to run run out. Oh yes, yeah, so, yeah. You can just switch yeah. it over to me then or whatever if if you if you think. There are hurt. Grand, and we are into Philip's letters then, please. Round five. Okay, um, four consonants, please. Oh, changing it up this time. Four consonants on S, P, R, and G. And three vowels, please. We are E, I, A, and. A vowel, please. Another A. And a vowel, please. And a final. Oh, and that's zoomed in. So did all those vials come in handier? Um, I'll try a seven. Seven, okay, Hazel. Seven. Seven. So you're seven, Philip. Spirea, S P I R A E A. I think I've made it up though. And Hazel. It's Sophia. 
Soapier, I don't need to write that one down. I know that one. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just check that Spiraea, Paul. Yeah, yeah, they're both both fine. Both good. And what else could they have had? So there's a, a multitude of sevens. Right. Um, Take your pick. Is it one of those? Uh, presage, um, porgies, aporias, and quite a few more besides. Thirty-two to forty, isn't that right? Yeah. Thirty-two to forty. Okay. And we are into Hazel's numbers. Oh, could I just check the scores because Philip beat me with a seven and then I beat him with a nine? Yeah, the scores are wrong. I should be eleven points behind. I've got thirty-two to forty-three on on. Forty-three, that's it. Okay. The overlay, yeah. Yeah. I was wondering which of us was wrong. Thirty-two, forty-three. Uh, yeah, I knew it was wrong. Okay, right. So, Hazel, your numbers, please. Um, please, can I have one large? Yes, they are four. 10, 3, 9, another 9, and a 50, and your target, 912, and that's zoomed down. Okay, so 912. How'd you get on? Yeah, 912. 912. And Philip? 912. Okay, so Hazel, how'd you go? 9 plus 9 is 18. Mm -hmm. it times the 50. 900. And then 4 times 3 is 12 to add on. 12 and added on. Easy enough. 912. Philip? Same way. Same way. Okay. I had a slightly different way. I used the 10 and the 9 for the 19. We get 950 to take off 38. I get 9 minus 3 minus 4 is the 2. So in other words, 19 times 48. Same thing. Okay, cool. So, 10 points each. 42 to 53. And we are in two. Philip's letters, please. Okay. Um, three consonants, please. W, P, and V. Oh, yuck. Two, um, two vowels, please. A, and another A. And a consonant. And a vowel. An O. A consonant. A D. Um, and a consonant, please. And a final S. And that's zoomed in. selection that time how'd you get on five five and hazel uh, five five okay philip you're five avowals a v o w s yeah 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 okay yeah that's fine and hazel uh papas p a p a uh, p a p a s papas as in your dad papa yeah. don't preach yeah okay what could they have had paul there was a f there was a few more there yeah there's um four sixes actually um wow None of which I've heard of. No, um, <laughs> so uh, there's papads with a D, 
um, Papaws. Papa, that's your papa, my good old <laughs> papa. And then there's Padsaw. A Padsaw, yeah, I know that one. Yeah. And then Posada, P O S A D A. Posada. Okay. All quite obscure, I think. Yeah, so. Uh, Pop and Padsaw, I think. I think Padsaw's mm. gettable. Padsaw and maybe Papaws, yeah, if you, if you, if you remember it. But... Okay, well done. So, five each. Seven to fifty-eight. Yeah, we didn't do. Uh, we do. Sorry, we missed Paul's uh, anecdote. We'll do it after uh, round nine. We'll go. We'll go there after round nine. Then. Okay. Sorry, we just completely forgot about that. Now, we are into Hazel's letters, please. Um, please, can I have three consonants? Okay, they are C, P, and S. Uh, three vowels. They are E, A, and I. Another consonant. A B. Um, another consonant. A W. And a final vowel, please. Okay, and a final. Oh, and that's zoomed down. Pretty nice. Philip? Eight. Eight. Okay, so Hazel, you're eight. Bio waste. Bio waste. Okay, bio waste. Okay, Philip, yours? Ice boats. Ice boats. Well, I can see ice boats is given, Paul. I don't see a bio waste. Or do I? You've been playing. I see it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, You've I tried that in myself. This is what, okay. So I didn't see the, what the, the, the maxes were at the bottom because Paul has been playing he's kicking my ass in this practice game i haven't scored a single point in this practice game. <laughs> paul's done quite well so <laughs> i got by away <laughs> so th those were the two eights available then oh, indeed sorry yeah. hazel i was doubting you for a second i was like why is why is bio waste not listed <laughs> hazel knows her bio waste That's... okay so eight points very good sorry for doubting you hazel it's the last time it'll happen I'll stop playing. Sixty-six. Yes. No. We are into round nine. Phillips numbers. Four large again, please. Four large, please. And your smalls are ten and five. We have twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, and one hundred. And your target, four hundred and eleven, and that's zoomed down. Ten. I should say four, four ten. Okay, and Hazel. Yeah, four ten. Four ten. Okay, so Philip, you first. Four ten. How'd you get it? Um, five seventy five or three seven five. Mm -hmm. And then just add on the twenty five and the ten. And the ten. So four ten. Okay. And Hazel. I said one hundred times five. And then take away the 25 and take away the 75 and then add on the 10. Add the 10. Oh, 
Easy peasy. Nice one. Ten points. Were there any fancy ways in the chat? Yeah, I... Oh. Were there? Oh, no, there's a fancy way in here, is there? Well, yeah, I'm yeah. sure there's a massive multiply and attack and divide and all that. Well, actually, you'd be surprised. No. <laughs> yeah. An easy way. You started the right way. Yeah. Oh, no. I can't see. 375s, 375. Yeah. Add on the 50. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Take away the 10. Oh, no. And then 100 over 25. Is the four. Yeah. 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 Very good. Oh, well. Right. Now, 10 points each. Scores are 65 76. And um, we'll go over to Mr. Nixon. His anecdote. Tell us what you've been getting up to and how you've been uh, enjoying your, your, your status. Sorry, Paul, Zoom. it's seven points each. Seven points, I should say. Sorry, okay. Yes, Paul. Well, over to you. Yeah, not been doing much the last seven weeks, sitting in the house and, the, and in the garden. But I thought I'd um I'd say a bit about when I was first on Countdown, actually, because um, as any of you who've looked at the wiki might might know, I was actually first on back in 1997. Yeah, um, I saw that. Which is probably maybe even before you were born, Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm 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 actually a regular under that Countdown wiki. There were um, there were stats for over ten thousand contestants. All it says when they were on. And um, yeah. I was, yeah, I was up against someone who was on in 97. I beat him, yeah. Oh, there you go. I mean, it, it, things were done a bit differently in those days. So I still remember um, my audition for the show. So nowadays, if you want to go on the show, you um, get a phone interview and you get one of the uh, show researchers calling you. Well, back, back in those days, it was, um, uh, I remember having to go to a hotel in Southampton near where I lived with six or seven other people. Then in walked Mark Nyman, the... Uh, the producer of the show, obviously, world scrabble champion, as he was. Um, so he, he obviously did personal visits all around the country in those days to wow. to make sure we were really up to scratch and not cheating over the phone. And were there many <laughs> of you there? Sorry? Were there many of you there? Uh, I think there were six or eight in the room, and I remember a couple of us got on. Um, and then the show in those days was obviously filmed up in, in Leeds. Um, and when I was on, so the... Um, the researcher for the day, the guy who kind of looked after all the contestants, was a, um, a young, fresh-faced, early twenties chap called Damien Eady, <laughs> who'd um, won the sh won the series a couple of years before, I think, and had had recently got a job there as the uh, kind of at the bottom of the rung of uh, of the countdown ladder. Um, and I remember he was he was very nice and uh, helped us all relax during the day and was was very good i mean here we are 25 years later and he's he's running the show but um, his baby now yeah it's it's that's mad isn't it we always wondered how he, how did someone get such a dream job like that how do you fall how does that how does that happen to you, you know? yeah and he started knowing nothing about tv i think but just uh, just was good at countdown which is probably the same with mark nyman as well who who won one of the early series as well right so there's there's so, hope um, for me yet then you think absolutely well <laughs> you're doing your best to do a uh, <laughs> There might oh, yeah. be Nick Susie impression all in one. Aren't I, you? There might so, be there might be one of the roles available. Maybe there might one of them be, might become free at some point. We'll see. Well, yeah. I mean, I think people were hoping to get Rachel's maternity leave job, but that never quite worked out, did it? Yeah. So, no, it wasn't. It was funny. Were you watching today? Were you watching the the, the very old shows? No, they have started repeating the old um, mm. 30th birthday series, haven't they? So yeah. I'm not sure how long that will go on for. But um, 38 shows, so I think that's 40. So I think that's eight weeks. Yeah, it's 40 shows, yeah. Maybe they're hoping they can start refilming before then. Well, nobody knows when, when it's safe to refilm again. And by the way, the point you made about Mark Nyman, he was runner-up in his series, and he was the first okay. ever Countdown Champion of Champions. That's what's happened to him. Was he? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he not Guardian of the Dictionary at one point as well or something? You know? Yeah, he was, yeah. and um, he was the World Scrabble Champion of 93. It was like the second one. And... Um, he beat a Canadian guy called Joel Wapnick and they met again at the 99 final and Mark lost a deciding game by one point and Mark struggled to sleep for the next year. And, um, <laughs> uh, um, and he also came runner-up in the 2016 World Championships to Brett Smither, who was also on Countdown in 97. He was a quarter finalist and I have actually met Brett Smither at the 2019 World Championships in Torquay. He was a good guy. I also met Brett Smither when I was at university because he was at Exeter exactly the same time as me. 
No way. That's he, was on, he was on countdown at the same, like in his first term of Exeter when I met him. And I did play him at Scrabble a few times and I got absolutely annihilated. Are you, oh, a, are you a player? Yeah. Are you much of a player at Scrabble? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. I came thought it for the World Championships last year in November. But I know you are, Philip. I was addressing <laughs> to our DC guest here. I know you're great at the old Scrabble now. I see your, I see your postings, but something, yeah. it's something uh, I've yeah. never had much of an interest in. It's funny there, there seems to be a, a good degree of crossover between Scrabble and Countdown. There's less of a crossover now because um, before 2005, Countdown tournaments weren't a thing. So there's yeah. less of a crossover now. Mm. Yeah, well, there's no, all these I mean, two and three keep... letter words you have to learn for Scrabble that yeah, is pretty useless on camera. Yeah, yeah. Fiona yeah. knows a fair few of those now. She's she's masked. She's remembered a lot of them. Yeah, I know, I know all the 127 twos. Do you? Yeah, oh. all of them. Every well, single one of them, yeah. We'll test you I'm on about, them. I haven't got time to recite them all, but yeah, I know all of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, exactly. We, don't, we, we want to keep our audience tonight. We'll just we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> save that for another time. So thanks very much, Paul. And okay. Philip, for your Scrabble contributions there. Excellent. Hope you all enjoyed that. And we'll get into round 10, and that is going to be Hazel's letters. Uh, please, can I have three consonants? You can, and they are R, N, and D. And three vowels. E, O, and A. Another consonant. V. Another consonant. And S. And a final vowel, please. Okay, and a final. E, and that's zoomed down. Hazel, how'd you get on? Eight. Eight. And Philip? Eight. Okay. Hazel, you're eight. Reasoned. Reasoned, yeah. Okay. And Philip? Same one? Yep. Reasoned. I yep. was hoping you were going to pick a consonant there. It was the was it handovers. Is handover a word? Handover is a, is a single word, is it? Overlands. Oh. Is it overhands or handovers? Overlands, I was thinking. Yeah. Overlands. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, yeah, handover there's... works as well, doesn't it? Handover. Yeah. Anyway, that was the only eight. Has reason. Fiona disappeared? Say that um, again, Hazel. Has Fiona disappeared because she's on mute on my... No, screen. she just starts her camera when she needs to speak, that's all. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James might have disappeared then, has he? Did he make someone uh, the host? I made you the host when it happened. However, I'm now pretty much in pitch darkness. There's no I point with my camera that, yeah, being I on. See, I could see you were by candlelight there nearly. For a moment. <laughs> Right, so uh, that's eight points then, lads. Okay. And still this 11 points between us, uh, between you, 70 to 81. And we are into Philip's letters, please. Um, okay, um, I'm just going to go five vowels and four consonants, please. Five vowels to start with, is it? Okay. Yeah, five vowels and then four consonants, please. I, E, A, O, and you didn't get the full set. I, and your consonants. N, L, T, and the Q, and that's zoomed down. How did your five vials go for you, Philip? Seven. Seven? Hazel? Seven. Seven, okay. So you're seven then, Philip. Toenail. Toenail, yes. Hazel? Elation. Elation, yeah. Those two. 
Okay, was there anything else, Paul? There's just one more anagram of the same words, which is Alnoit. A-L-N-O-I-T-E. Alnoit. Okay, yeah, I think I'll stick to the other two. Yeah. There's no more points for those ones, so. Good. Seven each. All right. Okay. 77 to 88. Okay. And it's Hazel's letters, please. Uh, please, can I have three consonants? Okay, and they are S, T, and D. You could have three nicer consonants, but... <laughs> uh, three vowels. They are E, O, and I. Another consonant. K. Okay. Um, another consonant. Another T. And a final vowel, please. Okay, and a final U from that zoom down. Okay, how'd you get on? Seven. Seven, and Philip? Seven. Okay, so Hazel, you're seven? Outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Philip? It's how I'm finding losing right now, tedious. Tedious, okay, right. Was there anything else, Paul? Uh, just a couple of other sevens. Mm -hmm. Some duettos. Mm -hmm. And an anagram of that, testudo. Testudo, okay, very good. Right, so moving on, good sevens. So eighty-four ninety-five. And we are into the final letters game, and that is Philip. Well, thirteen better be lucky. Two consonants, please. Two consonants, please, are D and R. Okay, and two vowels. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it wasn't that funny. Hey. <laughs> And three consonants. T, N, and R. Okay, and a vowel. An O. Um, and a consonant, please. And a final X. And that's zoomed down. Okay, how'd you get on? Seven. Seven. Hazel. Um, I'll stick with seven. Okay, you stick with the seven then. Okay, so you're seven, Philip. Rotunda. Rotunda and Hazel. Uh, Rotunda. Rotunda. Um, My son and daughter were born in the Rotunda Hospital in Dublin. <laughs> so I know that's valid. So what was you? What were you thinking about? Uh, could you put the R on the end to make rotunda? Rotunda. Oh, I wasn't really. What is that? What is something? What, what is an exemplar? What does the AR ending <laughs> typically mean? Any, any, anyone? No. Don't leave me. The hanging. answer is no. No, rotunda was the the single max. Yeah, just that. So without the right, audience. you were right to to settle. Maybe some linguist, linguist can answer my query if they have time. So that's a seven each, 91 to 102. You're just outside striking distance, Philip. So you're going to have to have to turn it around in this round. Yeah. You're into the numbers, and that is Hazel, your prerogative. 
Uh, one large, please. One large, straight bat. Okay. Hope it comes out nice and easy for you. And your numbers are eight, five, ten, nine, six, and the large one is twenty-five. And your target? Four hundred and one. And that's zoomed down. So, Hazel, 401? 401. 401, Philip? Sorry, I've blown it again. I'm sorry. Oh, unlucky. So, Hazel, all uh, on your own? 10 at 6 uh, times 25, and then 9 minus 8 is 1 to add on. There's 1. And that's 401, and that's 10 points. Well done. Well played, and you're over the line. So, Philip, you were the... You were the uh, you had the advantage of a nice easy numbers round to to knock Paul out last round, yeah. so you were probably hoping for something a little harder in this one. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so unlucky about that. So well played, Hazel, and we're going to be into conundrum. So maybe you can make it a double century, Philip. Uh, yeah, hopefully. So of course, one one two to ninety one. Okay, so if one of you just wants to, you want to just explain there, James or Fiona, I'm just going to turn off my camera and get this one ready. Uh, yep, yeah, I, mean, I can run, run it by again. You, uh, yeah, he might have known the process from last game, but yeah, the uh, the conundrum will appear on Paul's whiteboard, and yeah, say buzz to buzz in rather than saying the answer. So I'll just check my camera is off. There, then. So. Your camera is indeed off. Now, do you like I've been writing everything nice and large tonight? Has that helped? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same as last time, you probably hear the music a little early because I need to start my music before I start the camera. So are you ready? And the first to say buzz gets the chance to ask the next one. Buzz. Explainetic. Explainetic. Very well done. Explainetic is indeed. Well done. That was a hard, that was a hard one. So we yeah, again. Well done. Well done, Hazel. And that was another one of uh, Fiona. That was a Fiona special conundrum there. She was trying to throw you off with the your favourite thing in the world, Hazel. With <laughs> pencils. You are the pencil queen. So, excellent. So, well done. That's a great big score. Wow, 122. Pretty good. So, Philip. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm all right, thanks. Hazel deserved to win, and um, hoping she'll be back on the show at some point, possibly become the first woman to win a series in the 15 round era. Because so far, all the winners in the 15 round era have been men. So I think it's time out a female champ. We'd love to see that. We would. We, you'd have you'd have all our back in Hazel. So whenever you're ready, thanks, you get on there and kick some ass. <laughs> yeah. We'd love. We'd all love to see it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it'd be good for the game. We do. We did. There's plenty of women play this game, so we do. We need. We need women champions. Yeah, a few women have more, got to the, you know? yeah, a few women have got to the final. Um, but yeah. I'm thinking of champions. Champion. There's only one woman as well. Sorry, Hazel, you were saying there. Oh, um, I'm thinking of reapplying in two or three years. Two or three years, Hazel, you're ready now. You. <laughs> it's only been four and a half years since I was on, so it's a bit early. But, oh, I, mean, but, right. I mean, you could you could just be reinvited by the producer. I think be yeah. reinvited as well. Yeah, you got too you got too good too quickly. Is that what you're saying? Then you should have. 
Oh it's no! Taking a bit longer no, to get it's, good. It's like the the unwritten rule of five or ten years to reapply. Yeah, but I, I think I think it's the ten years if you've had your kind of like how many did you win? Um, I won four and then I lost on a crucial, but this was pre apterous Did you so lose to someone? Did you lose to a future finalist, semi finalist, and anything like no, that? He only won to help one. your case? No. No, he yeah, just won that. that was me. I'm hoping that helps my case. You see that I, you know, I lost to, I lost to a finalist, so I'm hoping that that, that maybe Damien might look a little. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not I'm, yeah, I'm not allowed to go back on. Sadly, <laughs> at all. You've had too much. That's it. You've had your, you've yeah. used up your t your TV credits now, have you? Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm hope. Yeah, I'm hopefully I'll be good enough for another quiz at some point. So uh, we'll we'll see. So even even in ten years' time, Philip, you're not allowed to just say no. You've 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 had your go now. That's it. It depends whether um they'll do a fortieth birthday championship in twenty twenty two, and I get another go. But I don't think um a fortieth birthday championship is likely. So um um as sad as it is, um that's but at the end of the day, it's television, and television's a silly cutthroat market. Um, <laughs> Well, you'd be great, but I think I think you you'd stand a good chance of getting invited if there was a fortieth birthday because you oh, thanks. Yeah. you acquitted yourself very well in in the the last COC mm -hmm. and gave yeah. people some really good games. So yeah. you know, I, I you'd get my votes if he's looking for votes. You get my votes to be back on. So. Thanks. Well, so thanks I waited twenty two years to get back on. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> so yeah, bit of patience. Well, Biding hey, your time. young is plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But thanks very much, everyone, tonight. It's been it's been really, really good. I hope everyone at home's enjoyed the games. Uh, any feedback from them? Are they, how was everything tonight, Fiona? Happy enough with yeah, everything tonight? Yeah, I think tonight? so. And I think, I think the, the quality was generally perceived to be good. I think I only messed up one of the overlays, so an improvement on last good. time. No, yeah, so, well, so good. all good, I think. Um, well, that's good. And thank you thank you to everyone for watching. I mean, it's there's no point us doing this unless people are going to be watching. So thank you for watching. And, you know, it's... It's it's heartening and hopefully the games you're you'll be able to follow you'll be able to follow the games and and this tournament is, is hotting up. Who yeah. do we yeah. who well, do we very well played Hazel? That was a yeah. really, really brilliant. Very well played to all, all of you. Yeah. Like yeah. you say, you're all winners, you've all won a game. Um at least the game, so you know that's that's what we want. Yeah. And they're all gonna be hard games. Hazel, you know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, don't be I actually doing. freaked out in round one when when Philip had the seven and I didn't see it. I thought, oh gosh, it's not going to end. Well. <laughs> I am. I, um, I, I psyched out on tragedies and tragedies. I'm not. I'm not particularly good at seeing nine little words. I'm a bit hit and miss on nines. I just psyched out when I in round two because uh, my brain's prone to brain fog, so it's not actually as it should. You're pretty good at seeing nines against me, man. <laughs> You know, yeah. I could show you. I could link you quite a few good games, like where you've you've spotted all the nines. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, swings and roundabouts this game, isn't it? Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. But thanks very much, Philip. You've, you've been great. Thanks very much, been very good fun. Yeah. Excellent. I hope you have, and hope your parents enjoyed watching. So yeah. Thanks, thanks very much to the Aston. Thank you. Bye. Hope you keep watching again. Yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye, man. Cheers. Take it Cheers easy. All. Bye, bye. Bye. Thanks. Right. Well, Philip had to go there, so we'll uh, we'll we'll leave it there. Um, Hazel, you're going to be back on what is this? It's Thursday now, so Thursday at five past eight. Same, same same scenario you'd be re be ready at quarter to eight or so and we'll, we'll probably yeah. start the live stream then um we the secret council will meet fiona <laughs> gonna have to be smaller and smaller this council meeting isn't it really because <laughs> some of the some of the players might be privy unless unless we sort of keep it from them but we're going to try and make it interesting um so hazel you don't know who you're going to get but we don't know who you're going to get yet <laughs> so you'll find out uh, like I said, everyone, thanks for watching. Paul Nixon, thank you for playing. Thank you. You're thanks great. for hosting. You've been really, really pop a popular winner. Yeah, uh, it was good fun. And I hope people are probably looking forward to seeing you later on in the series. I think you stand a damn good chance. Maybe. Well, so, that'll be good. Keep it going. Good, yeah. <laughs> I'll keep watching. Excellent. Good. Well, lads, we'll leave it there. Anything to add, Fiona? James? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. Thank, thanks, everyone. It's been, been good fun. Right, okay. So my power's just come back on now, typical. Ah, wow, brilliant. <laughs> Excellent time. And thanks, James, for hosting. And no thanks, everyone. thank you very much. We'll see you Thursday, guys. Bye bye. Cheers, Take all. Care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.